In the past few weeks or even months, a lot of the apps and a lot of the tools that we've been using online have made significant changes. And when I say significant, sometimes I mean a very small change that you wouldn't even notice that isn't significant to the software, like adding a whole new thing you can do, but is significant enough to make my life and your lives easier. I think it was about a few days ago when I noticed that when I'm trying to adjust the settings of one of my clip art files, to be more saturated or less saturated, I can actually, literally, change the colors of the clip art that I created instead of recreating it again, which is uber cool. And that took me to playing my favorite game, What Does This Button Do? So I uploaded a bunch of photos onto Canva, whether it's product photos, clip art designs, mock-ups that I created with Playset or came from different print and demand platforms and decided to play that game. What does this button do? And I clicked on edit photo and I clicked on a bunch of things, a bunch of buttons, and I discovered four different really cool things that you can do to your clip art, to your designs, and to your print on a man or printable mockups with Canva Photo Edit, the simple photo edit. I'm going to take you over to my screen. I'm going to show you these four cool things. But before I do that, I just have to get one thing out of the way, and that's hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayo, and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And let's head on over to Canva and have some fun with photo edit. So I'm here on Canva and let's just jump into the very first thing and one of my favorite things to do. This is a bunch of clip art that I had from my kawaii bundle and I'm going to go with a parrot because I've seen it does the best tricks on a specific parrot, this one. And I'm going to go here to edit photo. Everything is in this edit photo section and I'm going to go to adjust. Now we all know, I hope that you know, that you can change the temperature, which is kind of cool. It also changes the clip art with it. This is like more blue and this is more green and we can play around with brightness and contrast and all that. But did you see this? You can literally change the color. Let's change it to blue. <laughs> I think I'm going to put the original parrot like next to it. <laughs> Look, it's blue. Let's duplicate this and edit this again. Let's edit it more ex extensively this time. I'm going to take the dark blue outlines and make them completely black. As you can see, it's blacker than this. And then I'm going to take the red areas and I'm going to transform them into some sort of purplish. And let's make the parrot blue. Let's make it pinkish. And yeah, I can pretty much play around with the actual clip art. So this is the original one and this is me changing it a few times. Now, there is something else you can do with this, which revolves around mockups. So let's say I have this woman here, coffee plus clouds equals happiness. This was, by the way, from yesterday's tutorial about kawaii clip art. I'm going to leave a link to that one down below. And I made this mockup with place it. Now, on place it, I can change the color of the shirt. But what about the color of the pants? So I'm going to go to edit photo and again to the simple adjust tool. And I'm going to change the color of her pants. <laughs> this is so cool. And I think that th while changing the color of the pants, it might sound dumb to some people, but there is an overall look that goes along with this t-shirt and this design. So changing the color of the pants, oh, this is the sharpness. What am I doing? Changing the color of the pants can actually make the photo a lot more interesting and a lot more visually appealing or catching the eye of some people because a woman dressed up in hot pink denim is actually grabbing a lot more attention on social media or on Pinterest than someone with just, you know, normal denim. Big, big difference here. The next tool I want to show you is the Magic Expand. And in this case, it doesn't really work well if there is no background. So if I want to expand the photo of the socks, I'm not going to use a photo like this that doesn't have a background. It works best when there are not really like people in it or faces in it. You'll see what I mean. I'm going to head on over to, well, edit photo, and I'm going to click on magic expand. And I wanted to expand to the whole page. Let's just see what it does. Magic expand. Now I have several results here. And of course I was editing this. This took a few seconds to work. Let's have a look. This one, it, it literally just expands the room around it a little bit. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. Let's try to expand it with this mockup from place it as well. It says I'm on a roll and it has uh, 
a cat on it on rollerblades. I really like the collection of the Kawaii. I really, really do. I think it's my best collection so far. And expand it to the whole page. Because let's say I want to use this mock-up. And this mock-up is extremely vertically aligned. And I want to put it as an Instagram post. And I feel like I want her to be centered. And I don't want the area around it to be different. Like to be blank or something. And yeah, it expanded a wall in it. We have this construction. This is actually pretty good. We also have this one where we will need to delete the signature of the what of the artist or something. But this one is actually pretty cool. I'm going to click on done. And here you can see the difference between this photo and this photo. If I want to use this for Instagram, it will be much easier for me to use this photo for Instagram rather than this photo. I'm going to try magic expand on something I haven't tried before. And that is this clip art of a cow that has some uh, grass in it. I'm not sure it's going to work. So let's just do it. If it's not going to work, I'm still going to leave it in this video. I have made a decision to leave my mistakes inside videos. I found that you guys like that. Yeah, the magic expand did nothing. And it did tell me, like, don't put something that has a transparent background into it because it's not going to work well with a transparent background. I'm going to try and see if this can expand a bathroom. Like a shower curtain. I hope it understands that it's a shower curtain and the shower curtain has nothing in the background. So I don't know if it's going to expand it or not, but hey, play my favorite game. What does this button do? Seriously, you'll get epic results or you'll learn something. <laughs> okay, in this case, I learned that this is really funny because it expanded it into being on top of a sofa. And that actually gives me an idea. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my cow shop and I'm going to find a piece of wall art like this one. And I'm going to download this because if it put it on a sofa, if it took my shower curtain and put it on a sofa, oh, I'm leaving that. That's just hilarious. If it took my shower curtain and put it on a sofa as if it was wall art, I wonder if it can take this piece and basically create like a room around it or make it like, you know, as a part of a room. Magic expand to the whole page. Okay, so first of all, we have this in like a gallery pose. This one is actually kind of cool, as if it's on a table, even though I feel like I would have to delete one of these lamps. This one expanded it to the entire house. This is brilliant. And also this. And of course, we can generate new results. This is seriously, seriously epic. I'm going to save it. Click on done. Move on next to the third really cool thing that I found, which is magic grab. Magic grab, unlike background removal, basically takes an element and detaches it from the background. Look, <laughs> this is so cool. The thing is that if I would have gone with the background remover, it would have removed this background completely instead of giving me this chair. I can obviously take this away now, but I just found it to be really, really cool. I'm going to also try this with this one. Let's edit photo and magic grab. And I can take away the mug and it sort of completed the photo behind the mug. So now if I go to my uploads and I have a different mug, let's say with a different color, let's remove the background. I can take this mug and place it here instead. This is really such a cool tool that has so many uses to it, seriously. Moving on to the last tool, which is Magic Edit. And here I have some ideas. The first is I'm gonna take one, where was it? I had a Society6 mug like from a while ago. This is one of the things that I was doing for Society6 and I'm gonna edit photo and go with Magic Edit. And here I need to draw what I want to edit. So I'm trying to draw sort of like under the mug and you can lift your finger if you want, like you can start it over. Like I'm just clicking again. I'm going to add all this area here. This is like the basic mock-up that you get from Society6. And let's go with continue. Describe what I wanted to add. A kitchen countertop. Generate. Now, as you can see, the results are not perfect. This 
altered my mug. This is not the mug I'm selling. This didn't. This looks like the mug is about to fall off. This doesn't look so good, but this actually looks pretty good. Especially if I have to compare it to simply this one. And that was the magic edit. I'm going to try the magic edit again with something different. I think I'm just going to go with a print, added photo, magic edit, and I'm going to find my way here and write down add sofa. Even though this will make the print like huge. It's like a 10 by 10 inch print. It makes no sense. But hey, it added a sofa. <laughs> this is brilliant. This is so cool. It added a whole living room around it. A whole sofa. This sofa is weird. This sofa is weird. This sofa is epic. This, again, not so good. Now, the thing is that this photo was taking a lot of the space here, as you can see. But what I can do is I can uh, magically grab this photo. I'm not removing the background. I'm grabbing the photo away from the wall. I'm going to keep the wall. I'm going to make the photo smaller. And then I'm going to go onto this and click on the magic edit. And here I'm going to take all of this space, all of this. Continue, add living room. Can you hear the dog barking? It's so annoying. Add living room with sofa and plants. Now I'm not going to see the full result of it with the frame because I think the frame is like not in this edit, but yeah, it added something like this. It's a really good AI generator. I have to say, now let's describe my edit, add it, uh, add sofa and plants next to it. Okay. This is a much better result. This is also nice. This is a bit outdoorsy. Uh, did it make like the table made of plants? This is nice. Let's click on done. And look, <laughs> this is so cool. In any case, um, I feel like I want to just play around with some of them a little bit more. Let's go with one of the horses. Okay. So we have here a horse drinking coffee. I'm going to go back to the first one to the adjust tool. And here you can see we have two colors that we can play with. We can make this horse green. We can make this horse blue. We can make it more saturated, brighter or darker. And we can change the other color in here. Let's do it with green. And here we have a completely different horse. Oh, this is so cute. Let's give it another shot. Do you want to do something with me? I want to do something with me just to wrap this up. I'm going to take this. Edit photo and and expand into the whole page. <laughs> I want to see how it creates the room. If this is going to work well, this is going to be like the thumbnail <laughs> of this video. Oh, wow. This is brilliant. Okay. So I'm either uh, here with a weird hand and multiple. Is, is that going to be a mouse pad? Do I have packages next to me? Which makes sense. I always have packages next to me. This kind of looks like my cupboard. Or I'm next to a window. My guitar is all twisted, but I'm next to a window and I have trays of stuff. And this is a very twisted tumbler. Uh, apparently I'm doing a kids crafts art project. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just super, super, super funny. I know it has nothing to do with the purpose of today's video, but this is just super, super funny. Let's do maybe another one and expand on this woman. I think that I need to put her down so it can expand like the room behind her whole page. Magic expand. Woo! This could also work well if you want to expand something to be long enough for an Instagram story, for example, for reels, because they do have other dimensions here. And I'm not clicking on those because I want you to play with that yourselves. Because, you know, play my favorite game. What does this button do? Well, it completed a whole room behind her. Oh, this is her and, and a wedding reception? This is nice. I like this one. 
this is a really, really good example of what this can do. Like this is, again, if I had just this photo and I wanted to create an Instagram post with this photo and the measurements for an Instagram post is like, you know, 1080 by 1080 or basically one by one, this would have been the image that I would use. And if I want to put text on it, not much room for that. But when I have this photo, I can go to text. You know what? Let's go to elements and write sale. Uh, let's do like a, a s s graphics limited offer sale. No, let's take like a side one or one of these like here. No. Let's do this. Ooh, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I'm going to leave this one here. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Let's duplicate this. And let's go with edit photo, magic grab. I'm going to detach her from the background and you'll see in a second why. Please work, please work. Magic grab over magic expansion. <gasps> Did it work? Yes. Okay. I'm going to take the sale thing. And I'm going to put it here and I'm going to change it into white. And then I'm going to put her on top of it. Oh, <gasps> nice. Yeah, I am loving this tool. I'm going to have so much fun with this. I feel like in the last few years, Canva has become like the best thing you can do for social media. And oh my God seriously transforming like whatever I had just that mock-up into this is just brilliant so we've done a lot of things here today let's get back on over to me and recap those and say goodbye uh in person and not just with my screen and we're back to me I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I would love it if you could leave a comment down below which one of these four magic tricks did you enjoy the most so I'm personally quite pleased with this newfound learning that I've had, and I've actually been learning a lot, whether it's because I started this channel and you guys have put me in directions of things to learn, or because I've been doing print on demand for seven years, and I made a video about me doing print on demand for seven years with a lot of lessons that I learned, mostly answering your questions, and it's probably going to be here on the screen somewhere, along with a video answering two of the most common questions that you guys have been asking me, which are why do I not recommend Printify as a supplier and why have I stopped making Kittle tutorials? Those two are going to be on the screen right here and you can go ahead and watch them next. But with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new and as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!